happy Friday guys. I hope you've had a lovely, lovely week. I've been having a lot of fun creating these videos for my Halloween week that starts on Monday, so the 19th. You might have seen some sneak peeks on my Instagram or Snapchat. There's a some cool looks going on, but it does mean that I've had to film and edit seven videos for that. And I'm not gonna lie, even when I'm filming this video, I'm only four in, so I've still got three to do. So today's tutorial video is going to be quick and easy. I've got my base on already, so this is just my normal base, and you can see how to do this on my everyday makeup look tutorials that are on my channel. Um, and I've got nothing on my eyes, but my brows are done, and I've just got a really nice natural pink on my lips. Very, very simple because it's all about the eyes. And what I'm gonna actually start by doing is applying some false eyelashes. These are by Eyelore, who, in my opinion, do some of the best eyelashes out there. These ones are called Exaggerate, and they're number 143. Now, unusual to put your eyelashes on first before your eye makeup, because usually, other way around. But I am gonna be doing a giant eyeliner Flick. So I want to do the lashes first so that I don't ruin the eyeliner when I put it on. Mascara. Tons of mascara to start with. As always, bottom lashes first and then your top lashes and layer it up. I think including the lashes, I'm only going to be using five products for this look as well, which is kind of cool. Um, so false lashes next. La mascara's on. I'm not gonna use the glue that comes in a pack. I never do, I always use duo glue because I think it is the best eyelash glue to keep them in place all night. Take your lash, make sure they fit your eye. Cotton bud, then just put it onto the bone of the lash. So that's that section here. Do your little lash dance to let it dry. Don't let go. <laughs> then look down and apply it as close to your lashes as you can. this push it in place and then squeeze your natural lash and the fake lash together and then do the other one right lashes are in place they're pretty cool actually just by themselves aren't they they look really like glam i could just go out like this particularly because i've got a sequin top on but we are going to go for this giant eyeliner flick and all i'm going to use for this is um Benefits Their Real Push-Up Liner in purple. Now this comes in black, blue, green, and brown. So pick any color or use any eyeliner that you want. But for me, this one's easier because it's like a gel eyeliner in a pen, so it flows really easily. Now, I've said to you already that I've done my eyebrows. Really important that you do your brows first for this. And your brows should end from the corner of your nose through to the corner of your eye. So make sure it's that long because you're gonna use your eye brow <laughs> to uh, map where your liner's gonna go. What you're going to do is start with a crease of the eye, so you can feel where your crease is and you're going to draw a line in to the crease, so just like that, okay? So it doesn't need to be like mega neat at the moment because we're just getting the outline, but you can see there, you've, I've drawn the line into the crease. And do the same on the other eye. And this is why I really love using these liners because the tip of it is, is that Acaflex tip. So it's really, really flexible so that you can see how I'm literally just drawing it in and not having to worry about having too much control with my hands because the control comes from the tip. Then I'm gonna draw a line that goes from the corner of my eye up at the angle where my brow ends and then Swoop it back in about halfway along the socket. So, like that. And do the same on the other eye. So, you've now created the shape, and it's really quick to do that. And now you're just going to fill it in with the liner. Okay, 
there you can see how big and bold that is it's looking fab and you can see why I put the lashes on first because if I had to put the lashes on now when it comes to eyeliner particularly gel eyeliner it can peel off the gel so best to put those lashes on first and then we're going to do the other eye So that is the shape of the liner, how quick was that? It's just a bit cooler than having a normal eyeliner flick as well, isn't it? And because I've got these really big lashes on as well, it kind of like emphasises the whole look. And that is it. Love it with this purple, love it with these lashes. You, like I say, you can do it with any colour eyeliner that you want, or you can even do it with an eyeshadow, but I prefer the gel eyeliners because they last all night as well. And this one in the pen is really good because you can control it really simply. And that's it. How quick? So. Giant eyeliner, done. I hope you love this. I want to see lots of recreations of this, please, with the hashtag Learn With Lisa, because this one, anyone can do. Just follow the socket line, start with, make sure your brows are done because that flick goes up at the angle where the brow ends and you just swoop it back in into the center of the eye and then fill in the gap. Easy, easy, that's what makeup's about, isn't it? Quick, easy, simple, yes. Right, so. Have a nice weekend. Prepare yourself for next week with Halloween week. I should prepare myself with all the editing that I still have to do. Um, I really hope you enjoy next week. I'm really excited about it. A bit nervous because it's a lot that has, has been done. And, I, you know, I hope you like all of the looks. Have a lovely weekend and uh, rock the giant eyeliner flick. See you soon. Bye.